What's up everyone and welcome back to another upcoming crypto project review. Today we're going to be focusing on World of Farms. Now these guys are an upcoming play to earn passive income protocol that are going to be launching the Binance Smart Chain. We're going to be having their pre-sale relatively soon on uh, Pink Sale. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the website to explain everything that you need to know about their upcoming play to earn game. So my first impressions, they put a, a nice effort in with the website. I do kind of like these graphics and they've also got some previews of videos of what their game is going to look like as well. So here these guys have got a little preview of um, what the gameplay is going to look like. The video is only a couple of seconds long. traditional sense that some of these type of games work where usually you, you earn yield on your plot of land and obviously depending on how you level that plot, plot of land up depends how much yield you're going to earn. Um, this game actually focuses on more on like playing aspect and so there are going to be a lot of actual like fighting involved and tournaments and duels and that kind of stuff. So it's a little bit different so but we're going to go over that in a little bit more detail now. So a couple of things, main points about the project to take into consideration. Uh, these guys are going to have a Seifu badge, a KYC and an audited contract when they're going to, uh, before launch. They're going to be low taxes. I believe it's going to be 5% in and out of the project on that. We'll go over the white paper in a little bit more detail in a second. They are going to be uh, launching on pink sale using the pink fair sale method. I think the soft cap is going to be 50 BNB. Uh, the link isn't quite uh, ready yet, so I'm not going to be able to show you that, but I'll, I do have at least some of the details about the pre-sale that I can share with you guys. So going down to the roadmaps, what they've done so far, you can see they've got the software developers in making the, um, the game. They've done all this stuff. They're just waiting for some VC funding and some promotion before launching their token in phase one. Uh, which is coming up soon. Then going into phase two, things to be looking out for. The beta version of the game will be ready and the people who are invested in the project will be uh, the guys that will be able to um, test that game out. As you can see here, they're gonna be hiring testers and there's gonna be rewards and incentives uh, for early investors as well. And they're gonna be aiming to build up the community. Then we're going to phase three and that's when the official launch is gonna happen. The NFT collection is gonna be released. Uh, there's going to be media partners, you know, the guilds are going to start, they're going to spread to different blockchains and all that kind of stuff. And then phase four is um, to be announced. So the game reveal. So this is the different aspects of the game and then how you can earn money playing it. So like I said, the player versus the environment aspect, you don't actually get paid out for building up your plot of land, which is what you usually do in one of these uh, type of play to earn games. But obviously, the higher level and the more you build up your 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 farm and your plot of land, the better chance you've got of beating people in the in the guild wars, in the tournaments, and the duels, um, which are going to be the way that you're going to be able to earn some money playing this game. So yeah, there's going to be guild wars where you can pair with uh, you know different people and different groups, and you will fight for resources, and uh, obviously the winner will then be um, paid. There's going to be tournaments as well, so. This is going to be related to crop growing. So users who can grow the most crops in a certain amount of time will win and then they'll be re rewarded with the in-game token farm. And then you also be able to do duels as well, which is kind of a one-on-one -on -one thing. This mode will be about gathering feed stuff for the animals and it will last for one day and the, the player that has um, managed to get the largest amount will win and then we'll obviously win some tokens as well. So as you can see, this project definitely focuses on the playing aspect rather than the just being like a passive income. Uh, so it says here that in the game, uh, each item will be able to have different rarity. So obviously there'll be like common, epic and legendary being the best. And obviously the better your equipment is, uh, the faster, stronger or more efficient it's going to be uh, in the game. And as I was mentioning before, the early investors and the people that are uh, Putting an effort in in the community will be the guys that will be available for the um, beta testing when that's available. And uh, yeah, so we're going to head over to the uh, white paper now just to go over a couple of things maybe I've not touched on there. 
Yeah, so in terms of the upcoming pre-sale, like I was saying, it's going to be on a, on a pink sale. They're going to be doing a fair launch on there. The pre-sale link isn't out yet. But um, obviously, depending on when you watch when you watch this video, if you just head over to their community, you might be able to find the link for that pre-sale. There will be a low tax token, and it says that the transaction fee is only about five percent. So it doesn't specify exactly how much it would be, but it will be uh, roughly five percent on buys and sells. Obviously, they're going to have to you know at least tax some amount to be able to fund the uh, play to earn aspect, and. Um, these guys will be KYC'd, all the core team members, and the contract uh, will be fully audited before um, the pre-sale starts. Just going over and how to earn, so like I was saying before, I guess you can split this game into two different aspects, like I was saying. Uh, the first part, player versus environmental model, this is where you're going to be uh, upgrading your plot of land, your farm, raising, harvesting crops and that kind of stuff. That will put you in a good place to perform well in the other aspect, which is going to be the competing mechanisms. And this is the place where you're going to be able to earn the most uh, farm tokens. And it will be through those guild wars, the tournaments and the duel. So moving on to the uh, tokenomics. So like I say, we don't have the pre-sale link yet, but at least we can see certain aspects about the uh, tokenomics. So going to have a 50 BNB soft cap in the pink sale fair launch and you can see uh, where those tokens are going to be spread out so obviously they're saying the reason why they're launching the token like before the uh, game is ready is because it will help them to raise funds which will then go towards uh, finishing the game basically and then obviously after the um, token launch you can expect them to be listed on all these different sites coin market cap coin gecko and all that kind of stuff and uh, yeah, so I think I've covered um, everything that I needed to for this project. As always, I will leave the links to the website, uh, the Twitter, the white paper, that kind of stuff in the description of the video. If you want, then you go head over to their Telegram community and you can go and ask some of the team any more questions if you've got any. And uh, yeah, so as always, guys, please do like and subscribe. If you are somebody that is looking out for upcoming DeFi projects or airdrop opportunities or any of that kind of stuff, then... I will also leave a link to my Discord in the description. And apart from that, that's it for today, guys. So thanks for listening as always. Until next time, bye.